Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is another little video on improving Windows 10. As we know, this year is going to have some big changes. One of the things that works only, I would say, half correctly, and people are complaining of this uh, quite often when I look at some of the complaints of Windows 10, is the synchronization between different computers or the sync capabilities. So when you actually use your computer in Windows 10, if you have more than one machine and actually log in to each machine with your Microsoft account, one of the things that is happening is that you have in the account the sync capabilities. And here it says it will sync the settings, themes, passwords, language preferences, and other Windows settings. Unfortunately, if you're like me and have multiple machines, you will find that it's kind of a little weird sometimes. It seems to sync on its own when it feels like it. Sometimes it doesn't really. Sometimes it does half of the job. I think there's a need for a better uh, sync capability here. Also, there should be changes here, because one of the biggest problems is if you have multiple machines, by default, the settings, the synchronization between Windows is turned on. And sometimes you want to have a separate machine that is just working differently, looks different, doesn't have the same uh, you know, look or feel or options or settings than uh, another machine. And often that is driving people nuts because you have everything synced and suddenly what you realize is you turn on your PC one morning, everything's changed because it tries to imitate and look like the other machine you're using, which not is not always what you want. Now, of course, you can turn off the sync settings, but I think when the PC is set up and you have multiple PCs, there is a better way for this to work. I think they could just say, oh, I've just noticed that you're using, you know, three Windows 10 computers. Um, would you like to synchronize with those or would you not like to synchronize? It should kind of have, uh, you know, ask you what you want to do. Do you want this machine to be a unique machine that doesn't sync with the others? Or what do you want to sync? Uh, I think there's a lot of problems because people get a little mixed up in everything, you know, syncing or not or not or aft syncing. I think this could be done a little clearer, and I think the synchronization could be better. And there are things that it does not synchronize that should be synchronized. I think there are a lot of things in there. You know, it's like Microsoft Edge browser uh, synchronizing some stuff, not synchronizing other things. Um, I think there, this could also be worked on to make it a little better. And also to make sure that people understand what's happening rather than being faced with something that they have no idea because they turn on their PC and suddenly everything changes. And um, sometimes they try to put it back to normal and then it comes back to the other way. And then they're going crazy. And, um, you know, if you try to change settings, maybe there could be a warning of, oh, by the way, if you change this settings, I just like to say that the reason why this changes is because it's synchronizing with another PC you have so that people can understand that there's something happening and that there's an interaction happening between computers. Because I see that it's driving nuts a lot of people. So better synchronization options, settings, and explanation would probably be quite nice in Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.